Mark Henry back on the On Your Mark show. Powered and sponsored by Epic Sports Apparel. Every play I compete, I just wake up and go hard. With Epic Sports Apparel, we will rewrite the narrative. The On Your Mark show is back. Look for us on YouTube. But today, we got an Epic sponsored athlete. How about that? He's also a cornerback, safety, a track athlete. And he does several things off the field to be a well-rounded athlete. He's in the 2023 class, and he's a young DB on the come up, man. Landon Mumphrey, how you doing, Landon? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Well, thank you for joining us here today on the On Your Mark Show. So first off, let's talk about how you got started in athletics. Go back a little bit, all the way up until high school. Uh, talk about the several sports you play. Okay. So I first started playing football about in the sixth grade-ish. I played flag and everything before, but then I started in sixth grade playing tackle. And it was a little rocky start. But then we went to seventh grade. And I played linebacker in seventh grade, surprisingly. And then uh, we won. We went undefeated. We won. I think we won city. I think it was called city champs, not district champs. It's called district champs now. But we won city in seventh grade and eighth grade. And in eighth grade, I moved to safety. And now, when well, in ninth grade, I played safety as well. And then I got injured for a little bit. So I didn't really play a lot of ninth grade football, but I did a decent amount. And then to 10th grade, I played on JV and varsity. I was a bubble player, so to speak. And I played corner in 10th grade. And that was really, I would say my first real year of football where I could like learn and develop more as an athlete. So I'll be ready for varsity in 11th grade. And so now I'm playing starting varsity corner at Saxe High School and yeah, that's pretty much, that's about it, yeah. Well, definitely, man. I've been watching some of your tape. Really, the last two years, got a chance to see some of your track stuff this year. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. Well, you got a chance to get some varsity experience last year. Saxe, uh, you guys have been a successful program over the years and, uh, you know, one of the budding programs in the DFW. Uh, so talk about uh, 2020 a little bit for you guys. So 2020, I would say, was a kind of a rough year. There was a lot of adjustments with COVID and everything going on. Our record wasn't really like the best that we've had, but it wasn't horrible, horrible. But we put in a uh, second round in the playoffs, I believe, and we went against Skyline and we lost. But it was a dog fight and we did pretty good, I say. We held our own, I would say. And yeah, so now we're just looking forward to winning state. We've been working super, super hard this entire summer. Definitely, man. I saw you leading the charge and a couple of those gassers, man. You were out front. So as a leader, you're showing that you're ready to go and in shape. Now, uh, Saxe, is, uh, what are some of the things that you guys have, uh, models that the coaching staff's come up with uh, going into the fall? Uh, we're just about here. The grass is greener. It's starting to, you know, starting to get that smell of football. Uh, what are some of the things that you guys have set goals for as a team? And then you personally. So as a team, our big motto at Saxe is TNDO, which stands for take no days off. So we really, at Saxe, we really don't take any days off. Every day is a work day. Every day we're trying to strive and get better. And for me, my personal goal is to just do what I need to do and handle my part on the field. So I'll be able to assist my team in the best way that I can. Definitely, man. Like I said, I've had a chance to watch some of your workouts this summer, and it's definitely uh, showing that you're leading the charge there. Now, let's dive a little bit into the cornerback and the defensive back position. Uh, you know, there's a lot of footwork and things that go into it and tangibles that you have to have to play that, uh, you know, that position at an elite level. What are some of the things that are important to you? So for me, I have I have been working on my footwork and my eyes and looking at, like, how many steps the quarterback takes. Like if he's like going right here, that's a short pass. If he's like taking a five step or three step, that's a long pass, which my coach has recently taught us. But for me, it's really about my confidence and being able to know what I need to do and how, like if the receiver is coming up, like which, how far he's on the numbers, like if he's on the top of the numbers or the bottom of the numbers, or even in the middle. And just to know my coverages and be able to use my feet and my hands at the same time and be very, very coordinated. Well, you have to be very coordinated. You spoke about the footwork and the eyes. You know, a lot of times we don't see at the high school level, you know, defensive backs sometimes get caught looking in the backfield. And that's real important, depending on what scheme you guys are running. We don't want to give any tidbits away because people may see this. But so, uh, you know, who are some of the defensive backs that you kind of look at and kind of pattern your game after? You know, it could be professional or collegiate. 
So I really study Deion Sanders and try to study his model and everything that he does. But I've just been working with my coach. My coach played, this is a new coach. He played in the CFL and he's been teaching us a lot of, a lot of great new things. Uh, how many yards to be off, how far inside, how far outside if we need to be. Sometimes we'll, oh, I'm talking a little bit too much about my defense, but sometimes we'll line up a yard off and be able to play inside and outside and just use our coverages to our advantage. Well, definitely, you know, you know, like we said, we're not giving away any tidbits, but you, you kind of hit everything on the head there. Now, how important is it to be able to cover and tackle at that position? Uh, you know, you mentioned Deion Sanders, one of the greatest cover corners ever. Uh, you know, sometimes he, uh, you know, got uh, took a hard time or, you know, in the media, you know, I, of course, guys that really know football know that Deion tackled very well. But uh, how important are those two things in, uh, you know, is it in a cornerback's life? For me, tackling is a big part. That's why sometimes I'm a little timid on seven on seven because I'm like, I'm ready to get into the action. These receivers just doing whatever they want out here. But yeah, tackling is a huge part of football because you don't want them to get too many yards. Like if it's like a little three yard out, we can give that away. I'll be there to tackle it. But them deep pass passes, you need to be on top of that. But yeah, tackling is a very important part of our defense at Saxe. Well, definitely. Again, this is Landon Mumphrey, class of 2023 DB at Saxe High School. Uh, now speak on the mindset a little bit, Landon. You have to kind of let each play develop. And, you, you know, they're going to make big plays. You know, in, in our circle now, everybody wants to get Moss on his head, stuff like that. That's going to happen. How do you put that stuff aside and continue to play the game? My dad tells me that I need to have a short memory. And also my coach, he says it needs to be like this. And at corner, you can't really be sensitive because if you're sensitive, like you're going to start to get in your head. And that's just not good for anybody. So I just really need to have a short memory and be able to move on and be like, OK, yeah, he caught one pass on me again. He won't do it again. And if he does do it again, good route. I'm going to get you next time. Like just have a good attitude with everything that you do. Well, definitely, you can't be uh, shy. you got to be a dog out there. And, you know, that's the kind of thing. You have to wear it on your chest kind of game to be a corner. Uh, you know, Landon's standing about six foot. He's got long arms. They're looking for that, you know, in the next level type things for a corner. So you have all of those attributes. Now, let's switch it up a little bit. You're a multi-sport athlete. Track and field has been heavy uh, in your life here recently. Last year, you had a great year, made it to regionals. Uh, you were uh, uh, on the team, uh, the four by four that won district in your area. How does that translate to football and how did the love of track and field come out as well? So for track, for me, it translates to football because of my speed and being able to stop on those quick routes and be able to coverage the deep passes. Because if I get a little bit behind, I know that my speed, I'll be able to get there. But as well, as far as um, how my love for track started, uh, it started like when I was young, my mom said like I would run around the house before I even walked, but track is a very important sport in my life. I'm going to Junior Olympics. Once I come back from Oregon, I'll go to school for like one day, then I'll go to Junior Olympics for a triple jump. But yeah, that's pretty much what we do at Sac State. It's really about track and football, and that's basically the two thing, two main things that I would do. Well, definitely. You, you, you've you been beasting at that as well. I mean, congratulations on the Junior Olympics. Uh, you talk about going to Oregon. Let's let's talk about that a little bit. Going on a visit, going to get some work in as well. How, how has that been? Uh, you know, I saw also you had an unofficial to SMU as well. Uh, talk about the recruiting trail so far for you a little bit. So for recruiting, for me, it's been very entertaining. I've been able to see like everybody, all my friends, like the upperclassmen and everybody and their commitments and their recruiting visits. And for me to go on it by myself is really something new. And I'm very excited to take that journey. But SMU was super fun. The people there were super nice. The outfits were amazing, the photos, everything. And so I'm really excited to head down to Oregon and see what they have in store for me as well. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. Well, if you know, like no, I know, Oregon is trying to put a deep root down here in Texas. They've come and got some of the best athletes uh, in the 22 class. They're really building that thing. Uh, you know, shout out to the Ducks. Now, let's switch to off the field a little bit. Uh, you are well-rounded. Uh, you advanced choir, acting. Uh, you also do uh, kind of some of the things that I do with the social media, uh, video editing. You create your own things. Uh, you know, touch on each one of those a little bit. Okay. So I recently made the All-Region Choir for Saxe and I tried out for Allstate. I was a little bit, barely 
missed it, but I'll get it next year. But I'm in acapella and main attraction, which is a subgroup, kind of like a pop group for choir. And we had a couple performances this year, really amazing teachers, everything. And so I'm also part of BSA, which is the Black Student Association at Saxe. And I recently joined that. And I've been invited to Beta Club and the National Society of High School Scholars as well. I've also been invited to that. And so, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm about to be doing this year. It's gonna be very busy, but I'm very excited. Well, definitely, it, that puts the student and athlete, uh, that also helps you be a little more well-rounded. Now, I've seen some of your videos, some of the editing that you've done. What goes into that? And what do you like to see when you have an end result of some of your work? So for editing, I really use an app called Fit to make my intros. And that's a very big part that people like to see. And whenever they want me to work with them, they always say, oh, like, what's your intro? Like, what's your intro going to be? Da, da, da. So that's a very big part. But for editing, for me, I like to be very precise in what I use, the footage that I use. So I'll cipher through like all the footage and look through and like be like, okay, this way is nice, this way is nice, this way is nice. And be able to find the beat and like have every transition, everything on beat and just have it look really neat and professional. That's me. And now before we get out of here, last thing, you're an Epic sponsored athlete. Uh, you, I've seen some of your pictures, some of the uh, photos that you've done with Epic. Uh, they're one of the sponsors of the On Your Mark show. Shout out to Epic Sports and Pair Every Play I Compete. Talk about how that is working out for you as well. Epic is a really awesome company. They gave me so much gear that I've used in the past seasons. I really look forward to using it this season and be all dripped out on the field, as they say. But yeah, I'm really proud. I'm really excited to be partnering with them and I'm going to rep them the best way that I can. Well, you're definitely competing on every play. You definitely just wake up and go hard. The footage is there. I've seen some of your film before you got to the varsity level, and I think you're going to have a big year this year. Now, before we get out of here, this is the part of the show where I like to let you give shout outs. Also important that we give those social medias out so we can look you up. People can see your huddle, see some of your footage and your workouts as well. So I would like to shout out Saxe High School, of course, and Coach Bill and Coach Fox and Coach Reed and Coach O and everybody that's supported me. I'd like to shout out Saxe High School as a school because they really rooted me. And I would like to shout out to my parents and then Mumphrey and my Instagram and TikTok will be coming very, very, very soon. Most definitely, Land. Appreciate you joining me here on the On Your Mark show. I look to keep up with you, keep up with Saxe. I'll definitely be covering some games out that way. And definitely good luck and stay healthy going into the season. We're going to take a break here on the On Your Mark Show YouTube channel. We'll be right back.